Hey everybody, I'm Veljko and this is the third part of my uh, Toyota T-Sport project. Today is August uh, 22nd and the next track day is going to be on uh, September 15th. So I have uh, a lot of time to work on uh, some final touches to the car before the, the next track day. Now I planned for this part to do uh, the suspension and the racing seat, but I don't think I'm going to have the time for both. So I think uh, at, in the end I'm only going to do the racing seat for the next track day. Now along with the Sparco seat, uh, in this part I will also clean the engine bay because as you can see it's really dirty. At the end of the previous track day lots of people were coming to see like what engine this car has and I was kind of embarrassed uh, that it was uh, this dirty. Um, so that's also one thing that I'm gonna do in this part. But before all that uh, first I have to go to the service to to change my uh, brake discs and brake pads. These uh, front ones, they are gone. I have to press it like 80% in order to, to actually stop the car. <laughs> As you can see, these ones at the back aren't that bad, but I'm gonna show you the fronts. The fronts are completely gone. Now, plenty of you uh, suggested and told me to buy uh, uh, better uh, brakes for like racing specifically, but I don't think uh, that I'm losing so much time. This car, because it's revving so high, the engine braking is very, very strong in this car. So that helps me uh, a lot during the braking. Now, of course, uh, if I put some racing uh, brake discs and brake pads, of course it's gonna help me, but for now, uh, I'm gonna still stick with the OEM ones. And as you can see, the headliner is totally bust on this car. I have to fix that. Uh, very soon but first things first the brakes let's go and here are the few things that we bought let's start with the brakes uh, we bought the brake pads and the brake discs now i'll show them uh, before the the guys at the service put them that's how they look like and those are the brake pads now the brake discs okay i need to i need to move it around and because they are very heavy I don't want to get them out of there, but as you can see, they are, uh, of course, ventilated. The brand for the brake pads are uh, Kashiyama Corporation in Japan. And for the brake discs is Ate. Next up, we bought a uh, good quality antifreeze uh, coolant. Because in my last uh, track day, my engine temperature was raising even during the, the fast lap. Also the engine oil. And this time we picked a uh, less uh, dense oil. Uh, before we had the 5W40, now it's 30. Fast forward, as you can see, the new brake discs and brake pads are installed. And because I noticed a knocking sound going over bumps, we asked the guys at service to check uh, what's making that noise and they found out it's the front anti-roll bars. So we replaced them as well. I just washed my car because it was very dirty. But anyway, uh, let's get to the brakes uh, to show you how, uh, how they look. Uh, it costed me around uh, 200 euros, but I'm not gonna include in my uh, modification list because they are still the, the standard brakes. Uh, it's not like a Brembo uh, branded brakes. They're just standard ones. So yeah, nothing more to say, I mean, uh, the brakes are now back. Uh, I don't have to press the pedal so much to in order to start braking. Brakes are one of the more important things uh, to do. Now I, I have my confidence back to really push it on a, on a racetrack. So yeah, brakes are done. I know it's not the most interesting part of the video. Another small thing that's gonna improve my uh, driving abilities are these shoes with uh, thinner soles uh, because in the previous track days, uh, I was wearing these uh, black shoes and they had a pretty thick soles and that uh, 
that makes you feel not really connected to what you're doing to the pedals. Uh, I try to drive with these shoes and they're very good. I've looked for Sparku shoes, but they are very expensive. They're like 70 euros, um, the, the good quality ones. But I think this, this is gonna do the job for now. Plus, I already had these shoes uh, at my home, but I never wore them because they're not so comfortable. Because it has such a, a thin sole, um, but for racing, it's uh, very, very good. Also, these shoes that I'm going to use are not as wide as the black ones, because in the black ones, sometimes I'm even, when I want to quickly brake, uh, my foot gets stuck because the shoe sole uh, goes so wide as well. After polishing the headlights, cleaning the engine bay, refilling the engine oil and the antifreeze, the Toyota is ready for the track day. So stay tuned for that. Bye. Sadly we ran out of time on installing the Recaro seat, but don't worry, that is next on our list.